testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with the boxing bookie. We're going to get into the big one. We're going to get into the weekend's big one, Usyk and Dubois. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to make money on that. And this is a home run. This is not like a Jogba. Uh, uh, um, this is a home run. This is a great fight to make money on. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Quick hits. Uh, the bookie comes at you for every big fight, big and small. Um, also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, please check out uh, Texas Boxing Scene. All right, let's get into today's fight. Uh, I've been binge watching Dubois. Big strong south well i think he has a chance in this fight he's got a blueprint to victory it's an outside chance he should obviously be a betting favorite i'm gonna be honest with you the odds are way too wide back in 2019 uh before the joe joyce fight in 2020 daniel dubois was viewed as the next great heavyweight before there was jared anderson there, there was dubois dubois was that dude uh he was he was already like that at 22 years old. At 22 years old, I believe, he took a loss to Joe Joyce. He was doing well. Joe Joyce's fight, uh, jab broke him down. And remember, he quit. He got a swollen eye, and he quit, took a knee. Um, I don't like how Dubois responds under pressure. I don't like how he responds when he's hurt, and I don't like how he responds when things aren't going his way, when he's in trouble. That being said, Daniel Dubois is a beast. He's athletic. He's explosive. He's freakishly strong and extremely powerful. Um, everyone is down on him on the last fight when he got dropped by Lerner three times in the first round. Like, that was a weird thing. He got hit on the top of the head with a glancing blow, and it, when he went down. And then the, the second two knockdowns, he wasn't really hit. And then he came back, uh, survived the second round, and then destroyed Lerner in the third round. Uh, Daniel Dubois can do that. He can get rid of you quickly. The game plan for Usyk is to get him on the inside. Use his weight, use his size, lean on him, break him down. Look, he can, he can, he's got the reach advantage. He's got a sizable reach advantage on him, right? Um... He has 78 inch reach. Yeah. Um, he can use his jab on him. He's going to weigh, you know, he usually weighs around 240, 240 plus. He's going to have some weight on him. Lean on him. Stay on him. Break him down. Work him down. Try to get to the body and just wear him down and then try to land something big late. He's not going to win the fight on points. And that's where I think we're going. But um, he can get a late stoppage if he does this right. And it's an outside chance, right? Like, he's got to pull the inside straight here. It's it's not easy for him to do this. The odds are stacked against him, and it should be. But what I'm saying, I'm going to show you the odds in just a minute, is that the odds are way too wide. Daniel Dubois is a lot better than he's getting credit for. He just beat a guy, Kevin Lerner, who is good, who had one loss early in his career as a cruiserweight, who's really good, and he stopped him in three rounds. Before that, he stopped Trevor Bryant, and he stopped Joey Cusimano, right, in one round. Joey Cusimano uh, has a win over Adam Kon uh, Konaki. If he stopped Adam Konaki at one round, everyone would say that was a heck of a job. But he stopped the guy who stopped Adam Konaki at one round. Before that, he's got a, a, a knockout over Bogdan Danu. Y'all know Bogdan Danu. Bogdan Danu loses to, to everyone. He's I don't know if he's got any wins. He's got a loss to Kerbert Pulev, Jarrell ba Big Baby Miller, uh, and, and he's that kind of dude. I, I, I don't know if he has any wins of note. He's also lost to Kevin Lerner now uh, and Fraser Clark in, in the interim. Um, he's, he's that guy. Um, but that's what he's got. So since the Joe Joyce loss, which was bad, in a fight that I had him up on, 
I think it was split on the scorecards. I think the Laughlin had him up, and I think Mark Lyson maybe had it. Uh, it, it was close uh, in that fight on, on the cards, right? Uh, but, you know, it, it, whatever. He quit. It is what it is. What I want to get into is he, since then, he's got a second-round knockout over ba- Bogdan Danu, a first-round knockout over Joey Cusimano, a fourth-round knockout over Trevor Bryant, and a third-round knockout over Kevin Lerner. He is destroying people again. Yes, he's hittable. Yes, he's flawed. What he has is a long jab that he uses and the ability to get inside and destroy you quickly when he does. Usyk is still a small heavyweight. He's still 37 years old. He can be had. Now, I'm picking Usyk to win the fight, and I'm going to pull up the odds right now because the odds are way too wide, and I'm going to show you why betting on um, uh, on Dubois to win the fight, you'll probably lose the bet. But the odds are so stacked in your favor, I can show you how to make that money up on other things. Okay? Let me get in here. All right. Here's my bet. I'm going to take over seven and a half rounds, right? Because my official prediction is Usyk on points. So that's over seven and a half rounds, right? We're going 12. So that uh, that that pays out you know, about three, about 75 cents. Okay. Uh, it's, it's minus 135 to go over seven and a half rounds. It's, it, I, I think that's a great bet. Usyk by decision. Usyk by decision uh, pays plus 260. Uh, so a $200 bet. So my bet would be this $100 on over seven and a half rounds. And again, this is, this is on, this is on DraftKings. Would pay one hundred dollars on um, going over seven and a half rounds. So you walk away one seventy five. So you made seventy five dollars on that bet, and you get your initial bet back. Usyk on the money line. I would not bet this, but I'm going to do it just to show you what it does. Okay, a hundred dollar bet makes you ten dollars. All right, so it's basically ten to one odds. I think that's way too wide, and it may be smart to bet on Dubois, okay? But I'm not going to do that because I'm picking Usyk. But if I were you, what I might do is take that out because there's no upside in betting for Usyk. And bet a, a, a bet, a small bet on Dubois, probably half that. So let's say, and, and, and look, if you want to bet more than 100 bucks, bet more than 100 bucks. If you want to bet, you know, just lop, lop a zero off or add a zero, right? What I would do is add $5, uh, add a $50 bet on Dubois, because it pays six hundred, it pays uh, it it pays uh, plus six hundred. Then what I would do, and this is my big bet, because this is this is the one I feel good about. Usyk by decision or technical decision. That's what I'm picking. I don't think Usyk's going to stop this big lug, right? I don't. I think Dubois is going to have minutes moments in this fight. He's going to slow him down, and we're going to go to the cards. I would bet two times, 2x, so in this case, $200 on Usyk to win the fight uh, by decision. So what that does is it pays $720. So that $200 bet, uh, it pays $620. What what that does is, in all, you, you, you would bet $400. And you walk away with eight hundred fifty, uh, four, uh, five hundred fifty-seven dollars. Would be on that four hundred bet, you, you make one hundred fifty-seven dollars, right? Which doesn't sound great, but the Usyk bet is easy money. I would take that out if we take that out, right? I want to show this to you, right? But that's that's my official that that that's my official kind of recommendation for you is a one-time bet on the over, a one-time bet on Usyk, and a two-time bet on Usyk by decision. Now, I want to show you what happens if we take this out. Now we're betting uh, 300 And we're making, uh, what is that, 8, 7, 894 We're making uh, almost 600 bucks on a, on, on a $300 bet. And that's Usyk by decision and the over. That's really what I would bet. And I want to show you one more thing. I want to show you one more thing. 
Um, if we add Dubois, can I, can I do this here? Okay. And we make a small bet, a, 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 a 0.5 bet. Okay. So we're going to call that 50 bucks. And the, the math's always going to be the same. That $50 bet now be, makes you 350. Now you're probably going to lose that. You're probably going to lose that bet. Right. But you still make money on the other bets. And it's worth it because there's no point in betting on Usyk because it, it doesn't pay. Dubois has a chance in this fight, and it pays. So let's say Dubois knocks him out in round nine. You're going to lose the $200 bet, right? But you're going to make two fifty dollars on Dubois winning. So you come up ahead, and then you make the rest of the money, the $100, on it going over seven and a half rounds. So you make money whoever wins, and, and that's how I would do it. You could add uh, Usyk in as well. Usyk by uh, I, I would just leave Usyk by decision. This is not a bad bet. This is kind of how I think you should bet it. But since I'm officially predicting Usyk to win, I'm I'm, I'm going to bet it for Usyk. But it, again, I don't bet anymore. I haven't made a bet in years. But if you were to bet, this is kind of a good option. Uh, if you think Dubal wins round eight, round nine, round ten, something like that, stops him late. This is a good bet. Usyk by decision, uh, Dubois to win, and going over seven and a half rounds. You're hedging your bet there with Dubois and Usyk, and your real bet is Usyk by decision and it going over seven and a half. That's where you're making your money. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Also, leave me your predictions because I, I you know, I don't want to hear. I told you so. I don't want to hear Monday morning quarterback. I want to know what you guys pick. Uh, so I'm taking Usyk by decision over seven and a half rounds. Obviously, thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow Three Boxing, Three Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless.